Okay, say hello to YouTube. Okay, so for a side tube, there are two things. Well, three things you need to know. Number one, there are some suggestion of buying a five star side tubes. Don't buy any of them because five star are not as good as six stars, right? And in this game, limbos do not lock your side tubes. Side tubes are not locked to the character, which means you technically only need three side tubes around week two, right? Around week two. Just by grinding the basic stuff in the resource, which is called uh, Nema or whatever it's called, Analysis, which give you currencies, you get 10 per day, plus the first time, you will have enough to purchase one. I have already purchased my one, which is Brave New World. The first one you purchase should always be a DPS one. Preferably, you can use on both of your DPS. There are currently four available DPS ones, if I remember correctly, or was it five? Okay, five, slow. So, Hopstarch, this one have Incantation Might, which is, you know, your skill damage. And then every time you kill an enemy, the ultimate might plus 4%. This is really, really nice in general. You also have to look at the attack is 370. This is good. Brief New World is also very good, especially work well with certain characters. For this case, I'm picking up this because I am using Eternity Solo. Eternity used her ultimate a lot during solo. This is why I picked this one. And I am able to utilize this along with my other DPS, so that's good. There is Blasphemer of Night. This is the best, if you can actually trigger it. This is literally the best side tube in the game for a DPS, because it has good incantation might, and the damage dealt bonus is up to 24%, which is one of the highest you can ever get your hands on. However, it requires two negative status which is easy to achieve if you have Soul the Bee. This is not enough for two teams, that's why I didn't pick it. I cannot utilize this with my other carry, which is Eternity. Now, let's run down into the weird ones. This one is an interesting one. So a lot of people would look down to this, right? People are like, oh, it's a heal. This is not really meant for DPS, is it? This is meant for DPS. There are three things you should be looking at. Number one, attack is very high. It's 410. It's one of the highest, if not the highest, attack existing on a side tube. This is very, very important to understand. A lot of side tube have low attacks. This one have very high attack. Number two, the damage bonus you're seeing right here, level 12%, is pretty high. And more importantly, it's tied to the level. It's not tied to the amplification. A lot of side tubes effect are tied to the amplification. This amplification only increases your healing, which is why this is actually one of the best general attack. Well, I have said that for every single one. If you want attack, damage bonus, and something consistent, this is good. Especially if you cannot utilize other one well. This is actually the worst one to pick up. A lot of people saying, oh my god, crit rate, crit damage, I'm gonna pick this up. First, I want you to notice that this have 330 attack. This is one of the worst base attack ever for a side tube. Okay? All the power budget shift toward crit, which is not even that good. And attack is 330. This is really bad. Only a very few characters who actually have crit focus kit can use this. At least until Tooth Fairy comes out. I highly recommend against getting this unless you're using maybe Lydia. Now the other two, right? This is really good because I'm using Sothebi. This is a very good healing one. Look, it's this one have 360 attack. This is 30 more attack than Thunderous Clap. Do not get that one unless you're using Lydia. So this one is good for healing. And this, this is a really weird one. Supposedly this is for healer, but you can use it on kind of a lot of things especially utility focus team that does a lot of ultimate uh there are people saying use this on eternity no don't use this on eternity eternity is either the hopscotch for general team or brave new world for solo runs now one more thing i want to bring up remember i said do not pick up five star right so right now in about a week or so just from basic first time reward and farming you get to exchange for one and on day five from the event, you get to have one selection, right? That fills two slots. The third slot is this one. This is patch 1.1's event set tube. 
This one is given to you in the event shop. Let me translate this real quick. It has 380 base attack, which is really high. Number two, it has 18% ultimate might, which is also really good. Now, this is meant to synergize with the new character, Melania, who is meant to spam ultimate to increase his damage. What this does is that for every time they use a single target ultimate, their damage increased by 5% and up to three layers. So that's 15% after three ultimate. Very, very good. And you can use this on a lot of characters. I would put Put this on like your sub DPS or something just for now. This is still better than five star ones. And that's enough for both of your team, right? And number two, another thing I want to talk about is um, what you should be getting for your second side tube, right? Depends on the order and how much you farm. You will get either this free side tube is your second or the one you exchange in the shop in the side tube. Your number two side tube should be your healer one. You should exchange for either this, probably not, or this. For your healer right if your healer can use this this is better in general oh thanks for the <coughs> sub wow i don't think i'm tired anyway thank you for the subscription okay so this is the best healer one if you can utilize right so this is what you want to pick up your second one in general and yeah that's pretty much it to put everything together basically that don't exchange for five star the first one I have already go over which one is the best based on the character you use. The second one you pick should be your healer one. And the third one you get from the event. That's pretty much everything you need. No foresight tube. And hopefully you're prepared to open this and pick up the right one. This has been Stimba X. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.